Let's talk about quality online courses. This is a review of the National Standards for Quality Online Courses by Quality Matters, published in 2022 at nsqol.org. The first standard relates to course overview and support. It's suggested to have a current syllabus within the course. You should also include biographical information about the instructor and a course orientation, preferably offered before the course begins, either online or face-to-face. -face. Speaking of the syllabus, here are a few things to consider. Contact information and other ways to communicate with the instructor are a must. The course objective should be listed, as well as any student or learner expectations. Technology requirements, including minimum computer skills, information on how to, how to obtain needed technology, and any technical support will be handy. Grading policies and practices should be clearly defined as well. Standard B relates to the content of the online course. Here you can see some supplemental resources such as the textbook and other things that are available, accurate, and current. The course itself should be aligned with the learning objectives that are clearly stated, measurable, and aligned with the state learning standards. Other considerations for the course are the availability of teaching digital literacy and communication skills that are incorporated throughout. The content within the course should be culturally diverse and free of bias. It also should be free of adult content and advertisements. Copyright and licensing information should be appropriately cited. And information for teaching the course should be readily available and documented for all facilitators of the course. Standard C relates to instructional design. Here you can see the layout of a course. One thing to consider is that you should organize your course into logical units and lessons. The design should guide learners and promote ownership of their own learning and may include multiple learning paths, but more importantly, guide them towards achievement of the learning objectives. Content should all be appropriate to the reading level of the learner. You could, should consider adding some personality engagement by including an introductory activity that should be done at the first week of the course. Quality online courses offer regular opportunities for peer discussion and interactions. And students should have the abilities to engage with instructors, such as obtaining feedback or messaging. Standard D relates to learner assessment. When creating learner assessments, they should be provided with objectives that help monitor student progress. There should be a varied opportunities for assessments, and there should be flexibility in demonstrating mastery. It's also encouraged that you use rubrics with clear expectations. Standard E relates to accessibility and usability. Course materials should be logically laid out. They should be consistent and facilitate readability and ease of use for diverse learners. Some suggestions would be to add and use the appropriate HTML header tags, any selectable text and alt tag images. Standard F relates to technology. This standard speaks to the capabilities of the technology tool, such as the learning management system. This learning management system should support the privacy of all users. It should also support the learning objectives and allow for adaptation and the release of content by the instructor as needed. It also should have the ability to calculate scores and grades. Course G relates to the course evaluation. A course should be evaluated. There should be a venue for course feedback with a variety of inputs, inputs from both student and teaching peers. Evaluation should be reviewed and obtain data which could lead to course updates and improvements. That leads us to the end of quality online teaching. Thanks for sticking with me. This is Tyson Poppleton, chemistry teacher.